Making me drown. But for Corona, we had masks on. That concerned about the mirrors I'm on. I don't wanna talk, just leave me alone. Sometimes I don't wanna pick up the phone. Telling me I'm being too loud. Late night, rapping lyrics out loud. Switching rooms, trying to block out the sound. My mom just trying to make you proud. <laughs> all right guys i'm coming to you with another video um this time i had a few people interested in how i do my eco solvent prints um using a, a water based eco solvent ink that's good for desktop printers so i actually have um two shirts i want to do so i'm just going to show you guys the process of how i do everything i am using uh, my uh, eco tank 15,000. This is um, 11 by 17. So I'm using 11 by 17 paper. I make sure I have my registration marks on. So now we are just going to go over and print out this image. So we're going to go to print. using i already got it on my right printer my equal tank 15,000. i go to my preferences i do 11 by 17 for my paper size and i use presentation paper matte i find that that works best for me high quality then i go over to more options and i turn off bi-directional printing i turn on custom go to advanced and i like to use rgb 2.2 and that stir my saturation i like to turn my brightness up to a six and my saturation to four and everything else i leave the same i go ahead and hit okay and then i am going to go over to my printer before i hit okay because i want to go ahead and get the paper in there so all right so i'm at my printer and what i did was i took a piece of cardstock and take this to the back of my vinyl because I find that it um it jams. So let me make sure. Sorry guys. Okay, so I got it in there. Um, make sure that it doesn't jam because at first it kept jamming. So I'm just gonna see how this work. Uh, someone else in a Facebook group that I'm in suggested doing that okay so this is my paper settings 11 by 17 and i have it on presentation mat we're gonna go back over to the um computer so let's do that we're back at the computer and we are going to hit okay so that it can print and once you get to 100%, it should start printing. Let's see what it does. And hopefully my printer don't jam. This is actually the first time that I am doing it this way. So we're going to move back over to the printer. And I'm going to close that out. And please forgive my nails, guys. I got to get them done. So we are going to see what it's going to do. It looks like it's still thinking. So once it starts to print, guys, I'll come back. All right, guys. So the um, the print is actually coming out of the printer and adding the piece of cardstock to the back of this image worked wonders. I didn't have any jamming, so I'm happy about that. I'm loving how these colors are coming out. Sorry about the lighting. There we go. So now you can see the colors are coming out. I love, love, love how the colors are coming out on these. So I'm going to uh, finish letting this print. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the image to my mat. I'm using a 12 by 24, 12 by 24 mat. Um, here is my silhouette cameo. This is the two. So I'm going to use this to cut it. So once I get the print from off the printer, I'm going to add it to my cutting mat and then I'll come back once it's time to cut it. All right. All right, guys. So I went on and got it on here. So just make sure, guys, you try to get this 
edge lined up as best as possible i had a difficult time because this mat is brand new so it's really really sticky i had to keep taking it off and putting it back on but anyway i already loaded it because it's kind of hard for me to load it and hold the phone at the same time so we're gonna go back over here to the screen we are going to send the image to be cut it's going over And we have this is just going to cut a box which is fine that's the way i wanted it and it's going to cut here and um i already got it on um heat transfer okay hold on i want to change this and i'm going to do it on this one here the one that says heat transfer printable dark fabric that's the one i like to use so we're going to go ahead and get it there and it's ready to go and we are going to send it to my silhouette and it's going I'm go back over here so you can watch it read and hopefully it doesn't go back okay i was hoping it didn't go back too far so right now it's just reading the registration marks so hopefully we don't have any issues because I will tell you, if you don't line it up properly, it will not read your registration mark. And I am loving how the colors came out. They are vibrant and bright and I love how they came out and don't forget I changed my saturation my brightness to six and my saturation to four and that's how I got the colors that I have you do gamma 2.2 up under your custom um, settings so right now it's just cutting out my first image and we're gonna go down and now it's gonna cut this one out here let's just see how that works Right, guys i'm gonna let this finish cutting and then once it does i'll come back when it's time to weed the uh, the image all right all right guys so now i've removed the image from the putty mat we are going to just start at a corner go ahead and grab it separate it just like that and it's just how easy it is to weed it just like that just like that and that's that I thought it cut the earrings but I guess it didn't it looks a little weird right there but he did cut out the, the O, so let's get rid of that.
Yep. Oh my goodness. I guess I thought it cut out the hole. But I guess it didn't. So I just destroyed that. But it's no big deal because these images are for me anyway. So that's no big deal. So the only thing left for me to do is use the transfer mask. So it's a clear transfer mask. And you just cut it the size of the images and lay it on top. I'm going to show you guys what the transfer mask looks like. So this here is the transfer mask, and it's just uh, the clear transfer mask, and this is just the back, and you just pull the paper back and off. You cut it to size that you need to go on your image, and then you just lay it across your image. And it's no more than like a carrier sheet, the same way that um, just like a regular, just say um, a glitter vinyl, heat transfer vinyl or just regular transfer vinyl has that um carrier sheet so once you lay it across you'll lay it across there you'll peel it off and then it'll be attached to the um the transfer mask and then you'll lay that on the actual shirt and press it that way um since i messed this one up i probably won't press this image on a shirt i may wind up just doing it over again off camera but then this one here i will um cut the carrier i mean the transfer mask put it across it so you guys can see how i do that so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the uh the mask to fit and i'll be right back all right guys so here is the um transfer mask here's the image here so what you do is you just go ahead and separate Maybe. So. I'm like struggling. There it is. So you remove it, the paper backing, and then there's the image here. You take it and you fold it, cup it just like that. You cup it and then. Just make sure you know that it's going to cover your whole print. You take it and you lay it down like this. I normally start from the center and then work my way out just like that. And unfortunately, if you see where I made my mistake at, it didn't line up over there, but that's okay. So, and then I just take my... my little scraper tool here flip it over to the back and then i just go across it to make sure that the image goes across just like that just to make sure the image is sticking to the carrier, the transfer carrier, and it is not sticking yet. So, and there you go. And just go ahead and separate it just like that. Just like that and it's no big deal what I'm gonna do is just take an extra piece of carrier because I got a lot of extra pieces um, that I have so I just take an extra piece of the carrier and put it across there when I get ready to press the top and if you're not going to press it right away you can just go ahead and add it back on to your carrier sheet here and then it'll be good to go until you press it all right and when it's time to press the shirt i'll be back guys all right guys so i already pre-pressed the shirt i added the extra piece of uh, transfer mask on so right now i'm just gonna 
get the image where I want it on the shirt. Okay, so, and I am using my Cricut Easy Press. I think I wanted about, I think right there would be good. Okay, about right there. And then I'm going to take my Teflon sheet, go ahead and put it over the image. I am pressing for 350 on 350 for 30 seconds. And I'm gonna do like half and half of the picture. So I'm gonna start with this half. I'm gonna go ahead and press it. Then once it stops, I'm going to slide it over and then press this side for 30 seconds. And then once I do the first press for 30 seconds, I then remove the Teflon sheet. I also remove the transfer uh, mask and then I just press over, I lay the Teflon sheet back over it and then I repress it again, 15 seconds, 15 seconds. So first time, a total of 30 seconds, second time, 15 seconds. You can use your heat press for this, but I don't always want to pull out my heat press. Well, not pull it out, but heat it up. All right, so let's see. So that's that first extra piece. And now we're gonna take off Oop. that there. Then we are going to lay this back on top. Another 15 seconds, another 15 seconds at 350 degrees. We're going to start it. And then when it gets to 15, I'll slide it over and do the last 15. Sliding over. Go ahead and take that off. And there it is. And I'm going to slip the shirt on and let you guys see what it looked like. I'll be right back. All right, guys. This is the shirt. This is how it came out. And I did get some extra ink, I guess, when it was printing out. I noticed it when it was printing, but it's no big deal. The shirt was for me anyway, just for my business. So I think I like how it came out. I'm thinking I probably should have brought the image down just a little bit, maybe. I don't know. But all in all, I love the colors and everything how it came out all right guys if you have any questions drop some comments down below and i can answer whatever i can for you don't forget i am still new at all of this i have not done many but i feel like i'm getting better all right guys take care